years, lithium-ion batteries were the heart of electric cars. But Elon Musk, once again, decided to change the game. During the 2025 Q2 earnings call, he uttered a phrase that no one has forgotten. Batteries are going to be a gigantic revolution. And just a few months later, Tesla revealed what may be the industry's biggest game-changer yet, the arrival of the aluminum-ion battery in the 2026 Model 2. The announcement took the industry by surprise, with headlines declaring the end of lithium and a new chapter for electric mobility. But is that really all it is? Or are we facing yet another hype with an expiration date? Aluminum-ion battery technology wasn't born yesterday. Researchers had been exploring its potential for years, but faced serious limitations, stability, energy density, and compatibility with existing platforms. But Tesla decided to face these challenges head-on, bringing a novel approach. Instead of applying this battery only to future cars, Elon Musk opted for something much bolder, allowing it to be installed even in older models manufactured after 2021. This changes everything. Instead of forcing consumers to buy a new car, Tesla offers an upgrade right to the heart of the vehicle. This step was only possible thanks to CPMI, an acronym that stands for Cross-Platform Module Interface. In practice, it's an intelligent modular structure that can be inserted in place of the current battery without requiring radical changes to the car's architecture. For those who already drive a Model 3 or Model Y manufactured in recent years, this opens up a possibility that previously seemed unimaginable. Supercharging your current car with the latest technology on the market for a fraction of the cost of a new vehicle. And the most interesting thing? This adaptation didn't happen by chance. It was meticulously planned, factory by factory. Since 2021, Tesla has been quietly standardizing technical assembly elements at its gigafactories from Fremont to Austin and Shanghai. Cooling plate assembly, mounting points, and internal dimensions were adjusted with one goal in mind, to prepare the ground for what was to come. Now it makes sense. This standardization is what allows the new heart of the car to fit together like a Lego piece. The result? A quick update without mechanical drama, without the car needing to be disassembled like a jigsaw puzzle. A simple module swap and voila, new life. And this new lease of life doesn't depend solely on the physical structure. The battery's shape was designed to maximize the space already available on Tesla's skateboard platforms. The module is approximately 70 inches long by 55 inches wide with a maximum weight of 1,250 pounds. Measurements calculated to the millimeter for a perfect fit. This kind of attention to detail shows that the idea goes far beyond a commercial promise. It's a solid strategy, ready for large-scale implementation without compromising the engineering already in place in current models. It's as if Tesla is saying, you don't have to abandon your car. You just need to give it a new heart. Sait. And let's face it, this touches a sensitive point for any consumer cost. Changing cars every year isn't a reality for most people, but spending a reasonable amount on a high-performance upgrade with gains in range, charging speed, and lifespan? That's another matter, especially when the operation is performed at authorized centers with a warranty and without damaging the entire vehicle. Tesla has created a new business model and, without saying it openly, is defying the logic of planned obsolescence. This move also directly impacts the used car market. Imagine the impact of knowing that a 2022 Model 3 could soon outperform a new car launched by a competitor. The perception of value completely changes. What's more, it transforms Tesla cars into long-term technology platforms, a concept previously only seen in high-end smartphones where an update was enough to unlock new features. Now, this mindset has reached the garage. Upgrade instead of discard. Modernize instead of replace. If the aluminum ion battery truly delivers, this could be the biggest shakeup in the automotive market since Tesla's founding. And that's no exaggeration. 
we're talking about a new category of vehicle. Modular, upgradable, durable. What once seemed like science fiction, like just replacing the battery and keeping the car, is now months away from becoming reality. And if Musk can make this a standard, other automakers will have to catch up or be left behind. The game has changed, and the board is now made of aluminum. The change in battery chemistry brings with it a problem that goes far beyond the physical fit. The new aluminum ion cell operates at an average voltage of 20 volts per cell, more than five times the voltage of a conventional lithium cell, which hovers around 3.8 volts. This means that, if installed without adaptations, it would fry the car's entire electronic system in seconds. But this is where Tesla's true war engineering comes in, a multi-chemistry management system capable of communicating fluently with different battery types, adapting everything via software. This new management system reads the voltage and temperature of each battery module in real time. Based on these readings, it instantly reprograms the inverter's behavior. It's as if the car had a digital interpreter that translates the old commands into the new language of the aluminum battery. The most impressive thing? This can all be done via firmware update, via OTA, over the air connection. A simple click in the Tesla app, and within minutes, your car's electronic brain learns to handle a completely different battery. This electronic flexibility represents a giant step toward truly upgradable cars. If hardware previously dictated the rules, now software rules. There's no need to replace the car's entire control system. Simply reconfigure it as if it were a new version of the operating system. It's a leap that puts Tesla ahead of all automakers that still treat the car as something static, immutable. And this approach also paves the way for future battery chemistries. If today it's aluminum ion, tomorrow it could be something even more powerful. And the car will be ready. But safety remains a sensitive issue. The more energy a cell stores, the greater the risk of overheating, fire, or explosion. The new aluminum ion cells have significantly higher energy density than lithium ion cells, requiring more sophisticated thermal control than ever before. Tesla designed a system with micro channels of coolant under each module, similar to those found in high performance processors. This prevents heat buildup in specific areas and maintains a consistent temperature throughout the structure. In addition to the micro channels, the module's structure features heat pipes that actively extract heat from the cells and distribute it across a metal plate that acts as a heat sink. All of this is encapsulated within a compartment called a CPMA sled, which comes ready to be attached to the car. And the most important detail, the entire thermal system is built into the battery module itself without interfering with the car's existing cooling systems. This means retrofitting can be done without overhauling the vehicle's internals. With this level of thermal management, the new battery can support charging rates six times faster than current ones. This technology can withstand extremely high currents without compromising the cell structure or control circuits. What's more, it can maintain temperatures below 45 by bilisters even during heavy loads. This represents a significant advance, not only in performance, but also in reliability. After all, many drivers are still wary of charging their cars at home overnight. With such a refined system, that fear is beginning to disappear. For the average user, the impact of this is direct. Imagine leaving home in the morning, forgetting to charge your car, and still being able to recharge a significant portion of its range in just a few minutes without risk, without overheating, and with intelligent energy consumption. This completely changes the dynamics of daily use. And it shows that Tesla isn't just trying to win in terms of range or price, but also in terms of user convenience and safety. Something that, ultimately, matters more than any technical specifications. Ultimately, what Elon Musk and his team have done is pave the way for a new kind of relationship with electric cars. One where hardware doesn't limit progress. Where what seems advanced today can be replaced tomorrow with something even better, without having to replace the entire car.
What was once impossible can now be done with a firmware update. And this is the kind of revolution that begins quietly, but ends up changing everything. When rumors first surfaced that an aluminum ion battery pack could cost as little as $5,000 installed, many laughed. But the latest data from industry analysts has shown that this wasn't an optimistic estimate. It was reality about to hit the door. A 60 kilowatt module capable of delivering over 1,000 miles of real-world range is about to redefine value for money in the electric car market. And this isn't a simple price reduction. It's a leap that could make the traditional model of replacing a vehicle every five years obsolete. Imagine being able to triple your car's range for less than the price of a top-of-the-line smartphone. This creates a completely new dynamic. Instead of thinking about selling your old car to buy a more modern one, a Tesla owner can simply upgrade the heart of their vehicle. It's like swapping a combustion engine for a rocket. And the new car feeling would come at a much more affordable cost, with no taxes, no resale fees, and no loss of insurance history. The strategy, at first glance, seems to go against Tesla's own interests. After all, why would it offer such a powerful and inexpensive upgrade if it could cannibalize new car sales? But that traditional logic doesn't apply here. Musk's true plan is to transform vehicles into platforms that generate continuous revenue, like smartphones, video games, and even printers. The money no longer comes from the machine itself, but from the ecosystem surrounding it. Services, upgrades, artificial intelligence, and energy. By offering a powerful retrofit, Tesla keeps customers within its technological universe. It's a clever way to block out competition. Imagine someone with a 2022 Model 3 thinking about upgrading to a Ford or GM EV. But then Tesla comes along and says, wait, you can install a next generation battery in your current car with a range of 1,600 miles for one fifth the price of a new car. The decision practically makes itself, and the consumer remains in the Tesla ecosystem, where the company continues to profit without building a single new chassis. Furthermore, this model reduces pressure on the supply chain. Manufacturing an entire car consumes far more resources than simply replacing the battery. Aluminum, glass, steel, rubber, cables, motors, all of these can be reused. This means lower carbon emissions, fewer parts to transport around the world, and less waste. Tesla hits the nail on the head on another crucial point, sustainability. Instead of pushing consumers to throw away, it invites them to upgrade. And this idea of upgrading rather than replacing generates a new consumer behavior. The car ceases to be a perishable product and becomes a project in progress, improving over time. This increases attachment, resale value, and even fosters community among owners. Forums are already discussing how to adapt their Teslas to receive the new battery, which versions are compatible, and the real impact on daily life. The feeling of driving something that evolves with you completely changes the ownership experience. From a practical standpoint, the savings are staggering. For those considering a Model 2 for over $30,000, Investing $5,000 in a new package and keeping the current car becomes a no-brainer. Not to mention the additional costs that come with a new car. Taxes, registration, increased insurance, new accessories, and retrofitting. With a retrofit, drivers simply turn on the car after installation and drive away with renewed performance, as if they'd just driven off the lot. This paradigm shift means Teslas are no longer just vehicles. They're now personal investment platforms. With each new battery, each new software update, the car is reborn with greater efficiency, safety, and value. And for those who have already joined the ecosystem, the promise is clear. You won't be left behind. On the contrary, you'll be invited to continue without having to abandon what you already love to drive. The big question that began circulating soon after the new battery was announced was straightforward. With a charging capacity up to six times greater than the current one, can the US power grid handle this pressure? 
The most obvious answer would be no. After all, we've seen states like Texas issue energy conservation alerts on days of extreme heat, where air conditioning use hits record highs. But that's precisely where Tesla surprises again. The entire system was designed to not rely on the real-time grid, but rather on an energy intelligence concept that changes everything. Each new supercharger from Generation 54 onward will be paired with a Megapack. For those unfamiliar, these Megapacks are giant stationary batteries that store energy during off-peak hours, usually at night, and make it available during the day, especially during peak hours, with a capacity of up to three. Nine megawatt hours, each Megapack can power multiple ultra-fast charges without drawing power from the grid at the time of use. It's as if each station has its own mini power plant charged outside of business hours. This means that when a Tesla owner stops for a five-minute recharge, they won't be drawing electricity from the national grid, as many people imagine. They'll be using previously stored energy during off-peak hours, which helps stabilize the grid instead of overloading it. And the scale of this plan is staggering. The Texas Gigafactory alone can produce over 10,000 megapacks per year, meaning thousands of stations ready to offer stress-free, fast recharges to the national energy system. At home, the situation is even more comfortable. About 80% of all the energy consumed by electric vehicles in the U.S. comes from home charging, and this usually happens at night. Tesla has already implemented software that automatically schedules charging between 2 such a.m. and 5 hues a.m. when demand is lowest and energy costs are up to 60% lower. This ensures the car always starts the day fully charged without putting pressure on the neighborhood's electrical infrastructure. And even with the new aluminum ion battery, this continues to work perfectly. The secret lies in energy efficiency. An average 40-mile urban commute consumes about 10 kilobaliteters, easily replenished in a few hours with a 240-volt Level 2 charger. In other words, even with the new battery's incredible ultra-fast charging capability, most drivers' daily use will continue to follow the traditional nighttime routine. The difference is that now they can use turbo mode when needed and guilt-free. The technology provides freedom while respecting the system's limits. Another interesting point is that the car itself can serve as a buffer for the electrical grid. Because the new battery has a high density, and the capacity to store large volumes of energy. It can also be used to return energy to the grid during peak periods, the famous vehicle-to-grid model. Several pilot programs in the U.S. are already testing this in residential neighborhoods with promising results. In the near future, your Tesla could power your home or even help keep the neighborhood lights on. This idea of cars as an extension of the electrical infrastructure is more than a trend. It's a strategic plan. Instead of becoming villains of consumption,